I Congratulations. Love it. Oh, thank you so much. Award. I thought your award would be here on the no, table. I'm being, I'm being silly and modest. It's is probably, it, somebody's probably it, going to it. It's over there, isn't it? Is it over there? Like, is that right. it? Oh, that, we'll keep it over there. Yeah. I was going to keep it in the toilet, because then everybody <laughs> sees it in the toilet. Is that where you keep your awards? Because well, you've got no, many. No, I don't. I, I have, I, the few that I have managed to get, I have keep them. Because I went to, went to an American friend's apartment, and um, they were unashamedly there. And I thought there, and I thought, good for you. you yeah, know, why not? We see the American. This English thing of putting. The I know in the loo. it's I so thought, British. No. You're true. It's true. <laughs> this movie was great. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I remember Rudolf Nureyev. Yeah. I had a, a bit of a thing on him because mm. he was so beautiful, so yeah, he so was beautiful, beautiful yeah. and so unbelievably talented. How do you, as as producer and director, mm. find somebody who can play him? Well, from the from the start, I felt I wanted a dancer yeah. who could act. Yeah. I just thought, if I, have an, if I have an actor, quickly we will see that he's not a dancer. For sure. I mean, and I'll have to use body doubles, and that's complicated yeah. with time, and I wouldn't have much time. Yeah. So I had sort of set the target, I want to find a, a dancer who can act. And we did a huge scout through all of the Russian ballet companies and ballet schools and found this brilliant young dancer, he's Oleg Ivienko. The amazing thing about your character, mm. um, Pushkin, who is the, the teacher, mm -hmm. is he's almost an, a little invisible man. You know, he's, yes. he's very gentle. He, he sort of lets the dancers get on with it and he does it in a very sort of quiet, unassumed way. But you do the whole thing in perfect Russian. Well, I, I have a lot of help. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I have a little bit of Russian. You have a lot. Yeah, I give you a little bit of Russian. Oh, you know that show? I love it. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's I worked fun. with a wonderful lady who helped me to get the, the little Russian that I have to yeah, yeah. A, a, a higher standard. So hopefully it, it passes muster. Oh, it I absolutely. think to some Russian ears, like, they probably hear a slight accent. But that's OK. That's OK. They love you in Russia. Well, I couldn't possibly say. No, they, I, do. I, I, <laughs> they do. I feel I have a lot of friends in Russia. Yeah. I've enjoyed my time working there. I've made another film, actually, they're also in Russian. That's about three years ago. So I, I, have, I feel I have really strong personal connections with, with Russia. Oh, it's, and do you know what's good, good about this film? So many people who maybe don't know Nureyev, and he was big like the, well, they, he was like the, the Beatles. Thing, one of the attractions of the story was the sort of minute-by-minute -minute account of that yep. affection. I always, when I first came across it, I just thought, this is really thrilling cinematic material. Is it's, that why you wanted to do it? Was it that Well, was it, it was that. that it, was also, it was also the character of Nureyev. It yeah. was this young boy with this real sense, this ferocious sense of vocation, yeah. this drive to realise himself as an artist. I didn't come to the project because I had an interest in ballet. Right. In fact, shooting the ballet was, was scary because I was way out of my comfort zone. Sure. But I was drawn to it because I was moved by this young boy's intense desire to realise himself as a dancer. He came from a very, very poor part of Russia. He grew up just after the Second World War. We, the parents had nothing. He was born on a train. He was born on Which a train. I didn't know. He was, he was actually born on, born on the train. Sh show that in the film. I know, that's the opening <laughs> scene. And you think, what? I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, Look yeah. how beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Look at that face. Yeah. Unbelievable. But a difficult guy. A difficult but, but guy. A real a, diva. I mean, A real really. diva and famous for outrageous behaviour. And we try to show that in the oh, film yeah. as well. <laughs> It comes across. <laughs> it definitely comes across. As if that all wasn't enough, James Bond is yes. also on the horizon. Yes. We, when do we think it might be out? Do you well, know? I know we're shooting this year. Right. I don't. I can't tell. I genuinely, I'm not being coy. I have not yet read yet. a script, don't and I don't it. have a start date. <laughs> I know that Daniel is playing Bond, and I'm looking forward to starting. I, I think sometime in May or June. It's a huge, big event, isn't it? It's massive, yeah. absolutely yeah. massive. Could have been you though at one point. Were you not considered for James Bond? Yes. Well, I, I was. I, years ago, I talked right. to to Bob. Barbara Broccoli and indeed her father Cubby briefly, but it, it didn't work out. And I think actually um, Piers Brosnan, who is fantastic Bond, played it, which was great. And I actually feel on reflection that I probably oh, I'm <laughs> happy playing M. Yeah, and I, I think, think Daniel is is a brilliant. M's a brilliant good part. Bond. And who brilliant. knows who will be after Daniel? Nobody knows. No, we don't know. Nobody knows. Don't know. There's lots of people that would like Idris Elba and um, me, but, yes, <laughs> but, but who great. knows? Be great. Who knows what happens? Be fantastic. You cannot put you in a pigeonhole. I mean, you go from from all the movies that we've talked about, Coriolanus to Made in Manhattan. I mean, uh. who's got that range? <laughs> it's it's absolutely remarkable. And I remember when you did that, there was a kind of like they were trying to sort of almost create this romance between you and J Lo because that's how they do it over there, that's, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. is crazy. That must yeah, have been so weird that. for they you. Tried to set me up with a false fake news. It fake was news fake news back about then. me and J Lo. <laughs> Although you know what, it could be worse. It could be worse. It could yeah. be a lot worse. It really could. Yeah. Did you enjoy the whole experience sort of directing? Is that something? Is that another direction that you want to to go in as well? Well, I really love. I mean, it, 
when you're directing, you're surrounded by amazing people, heads yeah. of department, your cinematographer, your editor, your costume designer, your production designer, and fantastic actors. And yeah. I think you're in a wonderful position where you, you can, of course, guide them towards realising the film, but also what I learnt from the director, Anthony Minghella, who directed The English Patient, which was a, a oh, very, very film. extraordinary experience for everyone involved in that, was that what I learnt from Anthony was that he really truly took the artistry and the experience of everyone working with him and really would change things because someone had suggested this right. or that. He would really be fluidly open to what people were offering him. Yeah. And I, I feel that's a really smart way to go forward. Of course, I just want to get a better movie, aren't you? Because if you come overly controlled, it, it has to be this way, yeah. I think you can be blind to other more interesting possibilities that people can bring to Gosh, you. That's why people love working with you. <laughs> you let them do that. It's an amazing film. I am I, a control freak too. I know, but that's fine. Like, <laughs> it really is. It's, um, it's out next Friday, White Crow. Next, March 22nd. And, um, and he was a White Crow. He was something... Biele Averone is White Crow. It's like it's a sort of similar to Black Sheep. Yes. It means outsider, the odd one out. It was apparently what... The, he, he was teased at school for being Biele Averona. You're and a then white look what happened. If you want to find out more about him, obviously go see this movie. I loved it. Thank, Thank you, you so much for Thank coming you. on. Thank you for having me. A touch me of on. class on our little show. Yeah.